green manure. All right, I'm back. Green sounds nice. Is that plants? Good guess. This type of manure is made from green plants. So how is it obtained? It is obtained in two ways. One, by growing green manure crops or by collecting green leaf along with twigs from plants grown in wastelands, field burns and forests. I see. All right. Green manuring is growing in the field plants usually belonging to leguminous family and incorporating into the soil after sufficient growth. Crops in this family include groundnuts, cowpeas, sun hemp, clovers, lucerne, and beans. Mm -hmm. They are preferred for they fix nitrogen. However, plants such as maize, sorghum, sunflower, and weeds could also be grown for this purpose. So, plants for green manure should have high nitrogen content. Yes, this makes legumes the best choice. The crops should grow well in the poorest of soils in the area without needing any kind of fertilizer. It should be hardy in other words. I'm glad you are following. One must be able to plant it in local fields with no special soil preparation, simply by broadcasting the seeds. I guess the plants should be fast growing so that the farmer does not have to wait too long to have them ready for green manure. Good thinking. And that is very correct. The crops should be highly leafy and capable of rotting quickly. Yeah, saves time anyway. If possible, the green manure crop should be edible by animals or by humans. So, wait. They grow food plants just to use as manure? That point exactly explains why green manure is not commonly used. The manure is unpopular because it uses food crops. In spite of the advantages of green manure, most farmers in Kenya cannot afford to give up scarce land just to grow plants to be used as green manure. And if they do have the land, they cannot afford the labor. Makes sense. I guess no farmer is willing to spend money to improve crops grown for subsistence because they earn no money from them. Exactly. Now another reason why green manures are unpopular is that in the process of decomposition, the microorganisms suck most of the nutrients from the plants. This means the nutrients from the manure may not be available to the crops until they are released by the microorganisms, of course, after they die. And the dead microorganisms release the nutrients slowly. You got it, Sam. I know the preferred crops for green manure are leguminous because they fix nitrogen in the soil. Mm -hmm. But don't they take something in return from the soil that could be of disadvantage to the next crop? Very thoughtful question. Of course, the green manure crop might use up most of the soil moisture, leaving very little for the next crop. Lastly, some farmers may prefer non-leguminous plants as green manure to increase biomass. Yes. However, these take a while to decompose after incorporation into the soil, and this can delay planting. Hmm, interesting. And is preparing green manure any easier? Well, a little easier than spreading dung, urine, and bedding in a field. The crop needs to be planted, allowed to grow to the flowering stage, and then incorporated in the soil to decompose simply by plowing. Mm -hmm. And after this, the field should be prepared for the next crop. I see. Mm. You did mention compost earlier on. Yes. Is it a mixture of both farmyard and green manures? Actually, kind of. Why don't I get myself a glass of water first? Me too.